The universe, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. We love these chats that we have. Okay, so what I actually want to know is how it all began. Like, how did, how did this all start? Excellent question. Again, with the excellent questions. So grateful that you're so in tune. Um, so what had happened was we were all just kind of chilling um, as the one universal consciousness in the vibrational frequency of unconditional love. And then we were like, okay, we have, we've mastered this. Um, what would it be like if we experienced other vibrational frequencies or emotions besides unconditional love? So then we were just kind of like uh, hanging around as you do. Um, and we just started making a list. What would it be like if this happened? What would it be like if this particular incarnation in this particular timeline, in this particular time, space, dimension, reality had this exact experience with all these things preceding it. And then just times that by infinity and that will become, sorry, it already exists. The, just the infinite database. So really, you are just a tiny baby fractal piece of the, the one source of consciousness gathering data for that database in the sky. So thank you for your service. We do appreciate it. Okay, okay, but is it like, is it really real? Like, is it real, like 3D real? Or is it just, you know, like the perception of reality? It's so funny how you guys stress so much about worrying about that. Like it matters or something. It's the perception of the experience that matters. We just wanted to know what other vibrational frequencies or emotions would feel like. So whether it's 3D reality or just the perception of it, it doesn't matter. So the goal is to experience all the other vibrational frequencies or emotions, but ultimately return back to the original set point of unconditional love. So sometimes you have to go through a lot of, like it's a sliding scale between wellness, drama, and trauma. You have to kind of go to the other end of the spectrum to, get cracked right open and return to that set point of unconditional love. Does that help? Yeah. So the goal then is to just vibe as high as we can, regardless if it's really real or just, just understanding that it's like part of the infinite sea of possibility. It's just all data that just exists in energy. And then we draw in to this particular reality the thing that we'd like to have, which is hopefully vibing so high that it reminds us of home. Unconditional love, the original set point. Thank you so much. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for continually checking in, posing these questions. We appreciate it so much. Love you so much. Have a great rest of your day.